In today's show, we have a story on cross country, ACT prep classes, and a story on the KU basketball allegations. I'm Emma. And I'm Jake, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Don't forget about tonight's Fossil Workshop from 6 to 8 p.m. at Washburn University. Visit the high school office to register for ACT prep class. Registration and payment is due by October 18th. International Thespian Society is hosting trick-or-treat so kids can eat. Students can start bringing canned and boxed food items to, to their seminars through the end of the month. The winning seminar will win an ice cream party. SHS Theater and FFA will host Haunted Holidays on October 23rd at the SHS Fitness Trail. Topeka Youth Commission's first annual Grub Crawl is Saturday, October 26th from 1 to 4. Register today. The wrestling sign up meeting for freshmen is Thursday during activity period in the West Commons area. Registration and payment for the ACT prep class is due this Friday. Let's go to Emory to learn more. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. Varner and she's going to talk to us about the ACT prep class. So what is it? The ACT prep class is designed to um, prepare you to take the test. It will teach you strategies on taking the test, um, goes over the content that's in the class, um, just to help, help you increase your test scores. When is it? It is scheduled for Friday the 25th, so um, the day that students are out of school. Um, you do need to be here at 7.30 a.m. for the class, but you're out of here by noon. And how can students register? Um, registration forms are online, or they can come to the front office and see me, and I have forms here. Payment and registration is due by Friday the 18th. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Varner. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to visit the high school office to register. All Sharp students are invited to attend the Sharp Improv Show this Friday during CLP. The show will last the whole CLP time, and the first 50 students to attend will, will receive a coupon for free Sonic ice cream. When riding the bus, make sure to do the following. Stay seated and follow rules and procedures. <laughs> Always report bullying. Pick up trash. Use indoor voices. Respect your peers. Have a nice day. You have a great day. Be a Viking. Respect the bus. Seaman strong. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. Sophomores through seniors, the wrestling sign-up table will be set up in the East Commons immediately after school on the 22nd and the 23rd. Contact Coach Kelly if you have any questions. Last night, the boys' soccer team lost 3-1 to Blue Valley Southwest. Their record is 9-4, and, and they play again tomorrow at Washburn Rural. Volleyball went 3-0 last night at the Leavenworth Quad. Their record is 22-8. They play again at Emporia. The cross-country teams are having a good season so far. Here's Skyler with more. The boys and girls cross country season is nearly over. I talked to a couple of runners to learn more about cross country. My favorite thing about cross country is uh, competing against other people from schools and see so can you know run faster. It's a good like exercise and you get to do it as a team and we do a lot of like team activities together. I think the season is going pretty well throughout the whole team. Probably the number one strength that I've seen is that we're consistent and uh, we're learning as we go. Uh, the weakness for us has been a lack of experience in total. We have some experienced athletes, 
but we didn't have as many as we, we typically have. At their meet last week, girls and boys both placed second overall. I think we all have improved since the beginning of the season because we've all been working pretty hard this year. The season kind of started rough because we had people getting injured, but now people are getting back into it when the meets are getting more important. I, I think we've improved really by, by leaps and bounds, uh, especially in terms of our approach and understanding how to be a high school athlete and also understanding how to be a distance runner because it requires a lot of commitment and a lot of discipline. Last year, both girls and boys took second in city. They are very excited to see how they will do this year. My goal is to PR my time by, you know, at least under 20 minutes. I like that. The number one goal of cross country always is to see improvement, to see that our, our kids are getting better, you know, uh, considering the conditions of the course, the conditions of the weather, see that the, our boys are running better than they have in the past. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we would really like to return to the state cross country meet as a team this year. I know our goal as a team is to win city this week and qualify for state. It looks like they are hoping to finish strong and do good at league this weekend. Both the boys and girls play second at the city meet. They will be running at the league meet this weekend. Jake, have you heard about the KU basketball program violations? Yeah, I heard they could be in some real trouble. Recently, KU has received many allegations from the NCAA saying that the basketball program has had a lack of institutional control, with having Adidas pay players to play for Coach Self. KU denied these allegations and plans to fight the NCAA in this case. So, from my understanding, they're being um, hit with the charge of uh, lack of control, institutional lack of control, um, and in that regard, uh, Adidas is who KU is affiliated with, and I guess the question might be is, is Adidas a booster or not, and have they been play paying basketball players or not, um, and it's a pretty serious charge. It's at level one. Well, I think the NCAA is trying to make an example out of, out of schools, and I feel like they're coming after KU. You know, Bill Self has come out and said that they have not, you know, done any uh, committed any violations and I stand by Coach Self and I don't think KU has done anything that other schools are, are not doing. Um, I'm not saying that, that it's right. We don't know the whole story until I hear otherwise. I, I don't think KU is guilty. Adidas has allegedly paid $2,500 to Silvio De Sosa where Adidas consultant TJ Gasanola also agreed to another 20000 for the deal. Billy Preston, who testified last fall, was alleged that his mother, Nicole Player, received $90,000 from Gasanola for him to attend KU. It sounds like there are going to be some severe punishments, you know, depending upon the, the violation that has taken place. You know, I guess we'll wait after the 90-day period here to see what, what comes of them. Although Self may not be removed from the program, assistant coach Curtis Townsend could be removed. KU basketball's 2019-20 season won't be affected since no rulings will occur until after the spring of 2020. But if KU did commit any of these level one violations, they could serve postseason suspensions, future season suspensions, scholarships taken away, and maybe even past Big 12 championships taken away. We'll have to wait till next spring to see what the NCAA does with the basketball program. Over to weather with Josh. Happy Wednesday. The wind chill was 35 degrees this morning, but overall this week has featured a very boring weather pattern. Check this out. We're in between major storm systems, one in the northeast, and that's leaving us with a big ridge of high pressure, meaning not only dry conditions, but sunny skies as well. And all this to continue for both tomorrow and Friday, but by Friday evening, some showers will start to develop in central portions of the state, and by midnight, that will overspread much of eastern Kansas, giving, giving us a chance of rain Friday night. Thunder and lightning are not really expected with that round of rain. Now for Saturday, the sunshine returns and highs near 70, so it's going to be a great first half of the weekend. But then another round of showers and even some thunderstorms Sunday afternoon and evening. So that's how the weekend is shaping up right now. Seven day forecast shows a big rebound in temperatures over the next couple of days. Highs near 70 for Friday. There comes that rain Friday night. But overall, wind weather Friday, Sunday and Monday. Get ready for Sunday afternoon and evening. Now, Jake and Emma, back to you. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Tomorrow we have sagas. Have a great rest of your Wednesday.